He's like one of those annoying kids that you just love. Yeah. It was like a cosplay that was really good, actually. I've seen this kid. <laughs> yeah. Boy. So good. Yeah, he's good. Welcome to another episode of the Decog Podcast. Because Lightyear is coming out. Lightyear is about, you know, Buzz Lightyear's origin story. So that's why today we are going to pick our top three Pixar characters that we think deserve their own backstory. So let's get straight into it. Billy, why don't you go first? Who's your main, who's your top honcho character? My favorite? Well, I guess it would be a uh, horse. Like, it, yeah. this would be number one. So yeah. Why is that? <laughs> so you guys must, uh, must remember this one, this guy, right? From uh, Ratatouille. So he's the, I like, I killed a man with this thumb guy. <laughs> and he ke- keeps on making a new story every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He keeps talking yeah, about all the stuff that happened to him in the past. Yeah. So I'm like, this guy must have, like, a crazy backstory. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You can make, like, three movies out of this guy alone, probably. Yeah. <laughs> so I think he'll be a great kind of a... a character? Yeah, like yeah. a spinoff character <laughs> where you can see, like, Apparently, he's been to prison or something like that. You well, know? yeah, that was one of the stories that he had. I think one of the characters in the background was saying, like, this guy's been to prison, but no one really knows where he's been yeah. and what he's, <laughs> he's done. He's such a mysterious yeah. character. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, he looks mad shady, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you can't tell if he's good or bad. He's, he's almost like a Liam Neeson type character. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where he's seen it all. Yeah, yeah. He actually reminds me more of like, like D- Daniel, Daniel Craig, Craig yeah. James Bond. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. He, I mean, they're all James vibe. Bond. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they, I never thought about that, but all their <laughs> name is James Bond. Like that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got a new agent. What's his name? James, James Bond. Bond. <laughs> like again? <laughs> yeah. Really? But yeah, I think he's really cool. I think that's a good. Um, this is a good pick, man. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, yeah, they what? like with the whole backstory. Um, like sometimes I'm watching these films and then I'm like. You know, I get more invested in the side character sometimes than I do in the main character. At some point, I'm like, I don't even care about the main character. I feel like I know where the story's going already. Yeah. That's just me just like... Yeah. <laughs> just my ADHD. But then, yeah, this is one of the characters I feel like when I when I think back to watching the film, I'm like, oh, yeah. I kind of want to know more about this guy. Yeah. But I think they actually did well by not showing you much because it, it, it worked for his character in the particular film. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. No, that's a good. That's a great choice. I think I would. Yeah, he would be a very interesting character. I think it could be either. Like, it could be. Uh, there would be so many stories you can tell from like yeah. from him. I think it would be interesting. Like you can tell. Like, I can imagine him being like a villain turned. Yeah, turned like, good. good like, or maybe like yeah, he's like he. He's yeah. like he goes between the lines yeah. sometimes. Like, or he's a good guy, but he has to do bad things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I want to so, yeah. see. Uh, yeah, I wanna, yeah, I want to see him use his thumb in action. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> should I go my top, my top guy first, or should I go? Yeah, go your yeah your your lower tier. Yeah, my lower tier. Yeah, go okay. go to the. Uh, <laughs> so work my way up. To yeah, work the, your way yeah. up. Uh, up definitely to one. I think Frozone. Pretty safe choice. <laughs> I think everybody loves Frozone. Um, yeah. Even you had it as a like a honorary pick, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, Frozone's like. Yeah. I mean. Every, I think they made a spin-off, uh, like a TV sh- like series or a short oh, really? or something. Yeah, I think they made a couple of shorts or something, sp- like a spin-off of him. Yeah. Um, and his like family. I think it's on Disney Plus. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like they oh, wow. showed a little bit of, of his like life outside of uh, just the Incredibles movies. Yeah. And yeah, every time you see like, so Pixar obviously knows there's a. There's value to his character. Yeah. Um, but he actually, to me, is one of the more interesting characters in... Uh, in Incredibles. In, yeah, Incredibles. Because yeah. you already know the family. Like, after the first film, you know exactly how they're going to behave. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm surprised they even made <laughs> yeah. Incredibles 2, to be honest. Like, I didn't know there was a story to be made there, but... But yeah, like, I think... Um, well, I mean, I... I thought... Well, I mean, I always wanted an Incredibles 2. Um, it didn't turn out the way I wanted to. Like yeah. it wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Yeah. But yeah, everybody seems to like Frozone. And if I would be very interested, especially because I love Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. Him yeah. as a character is great. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and also like you always hear like um, whenever you see Frozone in a scene, you always hear about his wife just yelling at him. Yeah. Like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. like, I just want to see the dynamic of that like that family. Yeah. You know, um, I think they go into it a little bit in that short. I can't remember oh, the yeah. short exactly. Okay, yeah. But they get into it a little. Yeah, I think yeah. that's that photo there of the family. Um, oh, is this a fan art or is it? Oh, is this a fan art? Yeah. The artist imagined. The, yeah. Um, but that this would be cool. 
Um, I think it would be really fun. Yeah, it would be, be fun. Honest. It actually could be just like a. I could see him almost like in a sitcom type situation. Yeah. You know, there's yeah. so many, so yeah. many ways you could play the the Frozen. Oh, how cool would it be if it was like the Pixar series, but it's like sort of like Prince of Bel Air, but like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but Except with Frozen's the, family. Yeah. yeah, the dad is a superhero. Right? Yeah, that'd be so fun. It's yeah, like those '90s cool. sitcoms. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and oh. of course, like you know, so this character has you know ice powers. Yeah. So how like you can't go wrong with that. It's pretty. Yeah. There's it's so pretty, many like pretty cool like pretty cool power. Yeah. Um, I I can almost see it like there's so many mishaps that could happen as well in like a family setting when you yeah. try to use your powers like yeah like maybe he's like trying like every time just trying to use these powers to do certain things but it yeah. just backfires. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that'd be awesome. Um, and then uh, dude, I love these costumes. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that's so bad. <laughs> Oh, oh wow goodness. this is so <laughs> tacky so and so good I, I want one <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's me for halloween yeah. <laughs> yeah um but yeah this is my this is my third pick and um yeah it's pretty this is a pretty safe pick i would say yeah it's yeah. a pretty safe pick yeah but yeah i mean let us know what you think like uh yeah let us know what you guys think about frozone yeah. and um horse yeah <laughs> So, uh, well, horse is my number one. So, I mean, oh, horse is yeah. your number one. Go easy on me, please. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right, go top two. Your so, one. I guess um, <clears throat> this is a tough one. Um, I guess it would be Bing Bong. A yeah. Bing Bong. Yeah. So, so uh, who is he? In case people don't know. <laughs> yeah. So he's the character. Like, if you don't know Bing Bong, you probably haven't seen Inside Out because he he was probably like the most uh, rememberable part of Inside Out. Mm -hmm. I guess um, like Inside Out is like surprisingly forgettable as much as I hate to say I actually really enjoyed the film yeah but like it's a film that doesn't really come to mind when I think Pixar yeah you know I, I mean? would agree and it's very polarizing because when I say I don't like Inside Out yeah. people are like how, how yeah. dare you <laughs> that's like one of their best films I'm like no nah, it doesn't <laughs> <laughs> there's I think there's very <clears throat> forgettable moments in inside yeah. out it just feels like a very generic film for a lot of like much of the film and mm -hmm. then there's like that one moment obviously if you haven't seen inside out spoiler warning but yeah there's a one there's that one moment where bing bong dies yeah and then <laughs> it gets forgotten or whatever yeah yeah but that's like the most emotional part of it part of the whole thing right mm -hmm. So you, you can't forget Bing Bong because yeah. <laughs> he literally got forgotten in the film, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which makes you remember him. More. He's the only one that died. Um, well, it's hard to forget about him. Look at his like even just his character design, and he was pretty weird. Yeah, I remember when I first saw him, I was like, I felt eerily uncomfortable. I just thought he yeah, was really he's weird. so creepy. Yeah, yeah. Like, and I think that's the whole point of Bing yeah. Bong. Like they played it as if like you didn't know whether he was a good character or a bad character up until the very end. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like just I, I guess it's a good reflection of like just people in general right like yeah. you don't know if someone's really good or bad until the moment they have to make that critical choice, choice. yeah yeah um very true and then yeah that's that's when you really get to the the metal right you yeah get, you get to the core of the person but i think why he'd make a good backstory is because he's kind of he floats between the good and the bad so i can see like you know like maybe he's a character who had like a redemption arc already so this is his final version when he's already kind of like uh, become the good version but you know he maybe was originally kind of evil in fact like so i was so i've like heard online that he was actually meant to be evil wow. uh, in the original version of the script yeah so he was meant to be like a very kind of like like a, like a villain character for the entire movie because there's no r real villain to the movie mm -hmm. uh he was meant to be the villain but in the end they changed it and there was a whole bunch of stuff that changed in the end but i actually like where they landed with the final version of bing bong it's just like i think he's like so creepy that i feel like yeah if if you don't think about it too much you're just like oh like these characters like yeah you know, it's like I, th I think that that's definitely a good like choice. I didn't even think about him. He's actually I forgot about him as a character, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, which is really sad. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, don't forget yeah. Bing Bong. <laughs> don't forget. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think he's really, um, yeah. I think the fact that you can't tell whether he was good and bad that would make a really good origin story. Yeah. Because yeah, and I can totally see it where he was bad. Because yeah. he's so like he's really creepy. Like yeah, he's, he's super creepy. Like you can almost yeah. put him in like a horror movie if you wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that's what's good that you can't tell. 
Yeah. Um, right. So you're, you're could have like you're sort of apprehensive. Yeah. It's like, oh, uh, do I really want to like like do I really like this character or do I want to commit to this character? Yeah. And you're like, yeah. nah, he's bad. Like you know, <laughs> and then you sort of keep like juggling this. Yeah. And to see his origin story would be. Yeah, it'd be, It'd be pretty, pretty interesting because yeah. I do want to see him evil and then kind of <clears throat> yeah. See, like they even like yeah. Bing Bong was almost bad. Like uh, <laughs> you know, people have made videos about Bing yeah. Bong, but I, I I feel like just in general in the movie they they did a really good um they did they did really good character because um like for me the whole movie was just Bing Bong's arc right it really mm. was just Bing Bong yeah for the whole movie because they made you kind of tiptoe around whether you thought Bing Bong was good or not. Yeah. And he, whether he was just this disgusting character or not. Yeah. But in the end, they still managed to make you feel emotional about it. Yeah. About Bing Bong, which is just kind of like good storytelling because that's mm-hmm. very hard to do. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think that's a re- yeah, that's a good choice too. When you first said Bing Bong, I was like, yeah. is he the purple yeah. elephant is guy? That- <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at this. This is so creepy. <laughs> Yeah, oh my is goodness it, is that a like halloween a, costume i think it's like a mod for a game it's so oh creepy man. yeah that's yeah that's bing bong's origin by the way yeah we already got yeah oh my god this is the costume <laughs> yeah <laughs> look at that it's so creepy oh that's so good i yeah. actually want yeah. yeah you can come as frozen and yeah I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll as, come bing as bing bong yeah. <laughs> cool um my second choice is russell like i may have always liked him i think everybody liked him yeah and you kind of like yeah. russell I mean. yeah he was such a like a sweet kid right <laughs> he's like one of those annoying kids that you just love <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. you're he's like, like oh, he's so annoying but yeah yeah i, I love him anyway. yeah he's too he's too round <laughs> like yeah you can't hate him <laughs> he's just so enthusiastic oh man i love this part where he's like doing all these bird sounds <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um but i think what's interesting about uh russell oh my god that's so freaky oh well, that looks someone, like my friend. Is that like, <laughs> yeah. a, is that like an AI version? Yeah, uh, realistic goodness. take on Russell. Yeah, that's so creepy. Yeah, it was like a cosplay that was really good, actually. If you kind of scroll back up a bit, um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've seen this kid. I've seen this kid. <laughs> yeah, I've seen oh, this before. So good. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think what's interesting about Russell was um, you never knew really the backstory about him and his parents yeah and why he was suddenly really attached to the old man i forgot his name um, yeah carl is it? carl yeah. yeah and you just know that he doesn't get a lot of attention from i guess his parents or his parents were i think maybe did did they mention like they were divorced or something yeah i think they were Some... divorced i think they they um yeah I think yeah, yeah, they vaguely they vaguely mentioned it or something. Yeah, and I think Carl asked him, "Oh, like, what about your dad or something?" Yeah, and oh, he's he never like, seen oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you kind of knew. <laughs> yeah, um, but I think that's what was good about it. They didn't outwardly say it. Yeah, like as in um, blatantly say it, but they sort of at least yeah they kind of danced around a little yeah. i think they did mention like maybe he did say a line like, "Oh, he's not around" or something like yeah, that. But, yeah, yeah, it is kind of. Uh, it would be like a kind of good story to tell, I guess, because it, yeah. it's probably really relatable to a lot of kids out there. Yeah. You know, not having a father around or not having a parent around. Yeah. And I think, yeah, and how he became so enthousi- like, enthusiastic. Maybe it's like a yeah, it's self-defense like a, yeah, mechanism. Like a coping mechanism. Yeah, coping mechanism. For like, yeah. Yeah. So I think... a father. Yeah. And I think that would be a really good story, especially along the, um, the Pixar sort of lines of storytelling where it's like something that's relatable to adults but also yeah, to children to, ch- to children yeah and it's so. yeah it'd be really like emotionally impactful too i think exactly they, they could really uh they could play up some moments in in that backstory i can see this work like this would be a perfect yeah uh like prequel i guess a pixar prequel yeah i think a coming sort of like a coming to age sort of movie or more like just um yeah, it's almost like finding because he's finding part of himself, this yeah. like um, like this this scouts uh, kind of a, yeah you know group right. So it's almost like maybe part of the story could be like him finding the the scout group to yeah. kind of yeah. like, find a home almost you know like yeah. uh, maybe like the, this is a way for him to be a part of a, like some sort a of family. family. Yeah. yeah, that's very true. Oh, that's really good, man. It's story writes itself. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. We didn't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to do anything. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay, yeah. And like, he's like, yeah. and ship it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and he's such a, yeah, he's just a cute character. So I think 
it'll be it'll be fun to watch him. Let us know what you guys think. This one's pretty like straightforward. I think everybody, it's pretty yeah. It's sort of set up yeah. for I think Pixar every, to yeah, exactly to yeah. do it. Yeah, this will probably be on some people's list too. I can see. Yeah, that was yeah. a cool CG model by the way. I think I just briefly saw like a like a CG version of this him. one. Yeah, like they made it like a chubbier version of him. That looks freaky. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to see from the the small screen. But... Oh sorry, I'm surprised you thought this one was good. <laughs> oh really? Let me see. Okay, no, I'll take it back. <laughs> Sorry, sorry to that artist. <laughs> Your final pick, Lotso. Yeah. So now, I mean, this is probably on people's list as well because I feel like, like Lotso was such a interesting character. He was probably like the most interesting character in Toy Story Three. I feel like. Why is that? Why do you think he was uh, super interesting? Well, I think he because he's not like a uh, one dimensional, and mm-hmm. anytime you have like, like this multifaceted character, you are kind mm-hmm. of like, ooh, like. Yeah, you know you can do something with it with yeah. this guy, and then I mean, what I because they I think they showed a little bit about his backstory, but they mm-hmm. didn't really show like like the the full arc of him like turning I guess evil. Yeah, because <laughs> he's kind of like a mob boss type character, right? Yeah, yeah. So I I, I almost want to see like this uh this like mob boss coming of like coming of mob boss yeah. kind of movie you know how his rise of, he of rises the ranks. yeah like oh, that'd the, be funny yeah all the toys that he had yeah. to like you yeah. know kill beat. or whatever yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to beat up or end or whatever oh, just wow. to get to where he is at the top yeah um as sort of like his coping mechanism yeah so there's probably like a lot of you know you could do like a sopranos type thing or something you know oh that would <laughs> be so good actually <laughs> that would be so good because okay so his origin story was like he was um with a family who yeah. really loved him but then i think they left him by accident like the girl left him uh, by accident in the park or something yeah i can't I remember his exact um i yeah. should have probably looked at it looked that up before um yeah but yeah like, but then i think um he came back like he found his way home i think to the owner but they already got the daughter or the oh, kid like new the toy. new new like a new lotso i think all oh, right if i remember correctly um so yeah, um, but it would be cool to see the mob transformation. Yeah, exactly. Like, like he has to get accepted because it almost seems like when when they went to the house, like it was already like a full mob. Like everybody had their like yeah. ranks. You yeah. Know? So yeah, it would be interesting to see him kind of go to this like um, this. It was like an orphanage or something, or I well, it was like a it school. Was. Like, it was like a kindergarten, right? It was like or, kindergarten. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, that. Yeah, it was a school, and then they had like different grades. Oh, so yeah. I remember you don't want to be with the kids that were too young because they were like, they would go <laughs> yeah, berserk, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it would be fun to see him rise through the ranks and have to go through all the, yeah, yeah, all the different. <laughs> oh man. It would be a mob movie. That would be so good. Like a Pixar mob movie. Yeah. Would be, Pixar yeah. Movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the rise to the top. I mean, it would be pretty dark, but you know, yeah. probably uh, like a, they should do, they should really do like a Pixar, like MA or something. Yeah. You know, where they could do all these. <laughs> yeah. But I think it would be still funny even if it wasn't MA. Like it would be like comedically, you know, <laughs> like rise to the top of a mob, like being a mob boss. But it would be funny that it's kind of like a G rating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, oh, that's a good one. I didn't even think, I thought more, when you first mentioned him, I actually thought more about like his origin story, like how he was good than turn evil but i yeah. think you nailed it when it's more about how he turned from maybe yeah like just slightly bad to yeah. real bad yeah to full evil yeah 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 yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. breaking bad big yeah, time yeah <laughs> <laughs> cool uh, let us know what you think um about lotso the mob boss <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah pixar you should take the story i know yeah yeah, yeah. Hey, just give me a writer's credit yeah <laughs> And finally, I think uh, my top choice is the notorious Sid Phillips. Uh-huh. Sid Phillips. Yeah. Sid Phillips was definitely by far the creepiest villain. Yeah. And his dog. <laughs> so, um, do you know who he looks like, by the way? He looks like that actor. Yeah, that, that guy. Oh. <laughs> he was in Divergent. Yeah, was oh, he? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's literally the Sid Phillips in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> He's got strong eyebrows. <laughs> He's literally the same yeah, guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Disney Plus make this. <laughs> yeah, like a live action version. Especially when he was younger. Yeah, when he was younger, yeah, he definitely yeah. looked... Um, yeah. But yeah, like, so... Like, why do you wow. think uh, he would make a, uh, a good... Yeah, he was so... He is such a distraught kid. You yeah. know, um, you know, he wanted to harm toys. He seems like... 
I think he he also liked to harm animals, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm not even sh- yeah, because yeah, he was definitely that kid that was you, that you hear about that was re- like sort of creepy and just weird. Yeah, he's like the kid that was kind of going pyro, off the rails. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. The pyromaniac, and um, he'd almost make a good sequel too, where it's like a, yeah, instead of an origin story, it's like him turning into like. Yeah, a serial killer or something <laughs> yeah, like yeah, that because yeah. that's yeah. kind of where he was heading like yeah <laughs> so definitely probably not along the pixar sort of um that th- like pixar's way of making movies like you know yeah i think his story could be something that's more mature yeah definitely like, like, like origin story. yeah um i feel it, yeah it definitely involved like you know like abuse and yeah stuff like that i, I feel like i can imagine the story origin story like that right because he would like to take People, like the toys heads apart and put it in different you know yeah like jam like, it together it, yeah blow things up i'm like exactly this guy is a, yeah he's trouble <laughs> yeah and i i would like to see what that like what caused this caused him to be the way he is yeah um because i think there's always something that's you know yeah there's always there. yeah there's yeah. yeah unless he was just like like a genetically yeah. messed up freak, yeah, yeah. but uh, you know, like something gone wrong in his head, and he just like, yeah, <laughs> there's no fixing this guy. Yeah, <laughs> and even just hearing like how he bullies her sister, uh, bullies his sister in the first one, where um, he would take her toys and just you know screw them up too. Yeah, and yeah. it would be yeah, it would just yeah, it'd be very interesting to see that um, the family dyna- dynamic in his household. Yeah. Um, I mean, that'd be pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it'll also, like, if you wanted to do, like, a redemption arc for him, it would be really easy to, like, starting off mm-hmm. as someone who's, like, quite violent. Yeah. Um, and then, like, maybe ending up, like, someone that's, like, caring or something. Yeah. Like, that, w- that would be an interesting arc to yeah. take for a sequel. Yeah. So, I know this is, like, about origin stories, but I can, t- yeah, I can see this being, like, a, a good sequel, too. Yeah. Where, you know, after when he gets freaked out about the toys, you know how Woody, like turns his head into like yeah <laughs> you know after like it's basically after what happens after that yeah exactly um, yeah <laughs> and it'll be, <laughs> it'll be yeah. pretty funny yeah yeah, yeah. Like him losing his mind and then, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, finding himself again <laughs> i wouldn't say he's super dynamic in terms of his character he was just pure evil yeah but i think because he was so extreme like you can extract the reason from it and make a good movie out of it yeah and there's just so much room for him to have a redemption story as well yeah that's so true. i think he would be yeah, he would be interesting, but I definitely don't think Pixar would be the ones who make uh, who makes this movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, it would be us. <laughs> <laughs> a fan, yeah, fan made movie. Yeah, fan made movie. <laughs> well, with this CG, we can definitely do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we were joking off screen about how yeah. like how poorly this holds up. <laughs> like the design, oh man, the yeah, like just the mouth shapes is uh, just like look at this crease. Yeah, but it works so well uh, for his character because yeah. he's meant to be like this, like kind of like unlikable character anyway so yeah and um i think this is a great end to uh, this episode with yeah. light year right here because we like yeah, <laughs> i mean that's the reason that's... why we did this like yeah. we came up with this topic right what characters would you guys like to see yeah i'm sure we have missed a few characters and yeah. maybe some correct characters don't connect with us yeah um yeah, yeah compared to your choices so yeah, it'd mean, be good to know yeah right? so many pixar films to choose yeah. from. cool uh yeah and until next time Peace. Thanks for watching or listening to our content. If you like what you saw, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks again. Peace.